To get to the idea that this is a bit of a fad, um, you know, I think it's a real one. Um, some of the programs we hear sound a little bit to me like they're just measuring learning outcomes, which their accreditor probably was requiring them to do anyhow. Um, you know, so that's kind of the CBE light side of things. Mm -hmm. And then on the, on the more aggressive side, you have direct assessment where, uh, do folks, are folks familiar with direct assessment, what, what that is? I think most of you are. Well, this basically means if you know it and you can do it, you can test out of it and move on. There's completely untethered from the credit hour, completely untethered from time, and frankly freaks out a lot of people in traditional higher education and, and regulators as well. Um, so, but in that range, it seems to me no grades, you know, real mastery, that, that seems to me to be kind of core of the definition of something different, different and emerging. Um, and, and I wonder in that, if you agree with that, and also when we talk about competency-based education, it's often you know, these adult students who can really cruise through things they've already learned, already know how to do. What happens if you can't get past a competency? You know, I think that that side of it, I mean, this is not a gentleman C world <laughs> that you're talking about here. I mean, you have to prove mastery. So, so what happens in that scenario, and, and what do you think about my kind of definition of what, what really is competency-based education?